What's Gucci everyone, it's AJ here again, and I just wanted to make a video on something I didn't really reflect on in the last video about PR quadris, point region quadris, is deletion. Now deletion works the same way in assertion in that there is a cascading effect or a recursive effect whenever you do such. So in the last video, I tried my best to explain that when you put that each dot, each point needs to be contained within its own region, within its own box. And so since I'm dividing up each region, each region, new region I make, I divide up equally into four squares that I may need to recursively create a lot of internal nodes just for one insertion to make two close points um, be, in different, be in different leaf nodes or be in different boxes. So for instance, if I inserted right here, I get, I created one new internal node for this, the biggest one right here, two node internal nodes for this one, and three new internal nodes just for that one insertion. Now, if I click undo here, what you'll notice is all of those will be taken away. And in this case, undo is just like delete. So just like I inserted and I recursively cascaded and created all those new internal nodes to insert my one leaf node, that is the same thing with delete. If I deleted that node, then all those internal nodes will no longer be pointing to anything else. And so they can be deleted. They can be undone as well. So you need to make sure that whenever you delete something, you also go back up the tree and delete the pointer if necessary and delete the pointer up and down if necessary so that you can't get back to it because that internal node is no longer needed. And you want to get rid of it and it's that's perfectly okay. You don't want to save it. It will be created at a later time if you need it for another different insertion. So that's all I got on deletion. Now you know enough for insertion and find. Remember find is more is better for a region search where you can go through the different internal nodes and look at each region and then go down which ones you want. And then that way you can find all the points and look at them such as earthquakes. And then insertion works, this, works with deletion. They both recursively cascade. And that's what the hard part is to get about, the, about this data structure is that um, more than one node can be created for, with insertion. Many nodes can be inserted, unlike a binary tree. If you add something, always one node will be created. So that's kind of the hard part of getting a recursive tree structure is that it can be hard to program. Well, guys, I will see you later and have a wonderful day as always.